Hey there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another day of Off the Board. And today I am using this pin that is a big brush abstract painting. And they're basically using that big brush that you would use on a wall and they are doing an abstract painting. Well, I didn't pull out a brush that was that big. I just used one of my larger flat brushes. And I decided to kind of do the same thing where they are doing big swatches of color, adding a little white in and then blending in the next color. And so I'm, I was inspired by the pin, but I didn't use the big brush like they did. Um, and originally I thought I would just kind of go with a blue, green, teal kind of color scheme, but then I end up adding in red, orange, and yellow. So now we have a rainbow. <laughs> um, but it wasn't really the plan to have a rainbow. So, and also, you know, I really love bold colors and their colors were jewel tones, um, but a little bit more muted than what I'm going with. And so this layout be becomes a very bright, but um, I do love how it, it comes out. So bear with me. Hopefully you will like it just as much as I do. I am using the Vicki Booten foundation paper. And so that is really staying nice and flat for me because I, I think if I would have used regular cardstock um, with this much paint on it, it probably would have warped quite a bit. Um, I'm not, I'm not really sure. Yeah, I think it would have warped quite a bit. I, I had considered using cardstock and taping it down like I normally do for mixed media, but um, I've been in a really big hurry lately to get my mixed media down and I haven't been taping my papers down. And um, so in this particular case, I was like, I'm just going to use the foundations paper because I know it can stand up to all of the paint that I think I'm going to be putting on here. So the paints that I am using, those are dilutions and they are super bright and bold, like I said, but they are so smooth and they go on really nicely. Um, I don't use them often enough. So periodically I will go in and spray a little water in there and mix it up. Otherwise they do start to get really thick um, rather than uh, they should be kind of, I'm trying to think what the texture should be like. They should be kind of not as thick as pudding, but they are becoming more like pudding. So you see me adding a little water there and I do mix that water in. I don't make you sit there and watch me add the water and stir that all up. I do cut that out of the video, but I did add water to all, um, most of them, especially the white and that green. They were getting really, really to the point where they needed some extra care. Now, as you saw there, I'm getting some red in my green, so I'm just kind of trying to fix that. And if you're wondering what I'm putting my hand up to the upper right hand corner there, that's where my water dish is sitting. Um, it's not on camera. So in case you were wondering what I was reaching for, that's what's up there. I'm just rinsing my brush off. I'm not doing a really great job of getting all of the paint out of it, but I want to get the majority of the paint out of it before I dip into the white and, you know, add whatever color I am working with to the white. And you do see me dip like right now I have pink on my brush, but I am kind of scooping the white out rather than dipping so that I'm not leaving a lot of paint behind. Um, and that seems to work for me. So there it is all dry and ready to go. And then I do add a little bit of white into a couple of areas that just need a little bit of extra feathering out and a little bit of extra um, lightening in certain areas. So I decided to pull in this photo of me sitting in the rental car when we were in Kauai. And, um, there's a little tiny rainbow on <laughs> the license plate, which is one of the reasons I pulled this photo, which is kind of funny because, you know, I, I don't know if I would have necessarily scrapbooked this photo. This is actually the it's the second photo my husband took of me sitting in the car wh when we got to Kauai. And um, I don't know. I like the way that it looked. And one of my friends, when I showed her the background, she's like, oh, my gosh, that says tropical to me. Like, it's very tropical looking. And so I was like, oh, well, let me pull out a Hawaii photo. So then I pulled in this gold palm tree which is from Hambly, which is a really old company that is no longer in business, but it's a screen print. It's on, um, it's on acetate. So it's clear with the exception of that gold 
palm tree. And so I thought I would use that. It just adds something extra to the layout. The uh, black palm trees are from my Creative Cuts Club kit. Um, and so I'm using those as well. And then the little black one on the right hand side, I have a die for that. The die is from Elizabeth Craft Design. And um, I thought that works really well also. So I'm kind of going with a diagonal um, layout from the upper right to the bottom left. And I'm liking how that looks. And I considered actually doing another palm tree there. And I probably, like looking at it right now, I would have actually probably really liked that, but I don't end up doing that. I am going to cut the black palm tree that is hanging off of the left hand side and take those pieces and add them to the upper right hand side to give more um, of that black palm tree silhouette. But before I do that, I am kind of just flipping through all of my embellishments and my ephemera and I'm trying to figure out what else I want to use. I know I need something else that's gold in that upper right hand color corner because I have that gold palm tree on the bottom left and so I end up going with that little flower uh, rather than the piece that says always and forever I'm not sure what I would you know be talking about always and forever like I'm always and forever sitting in that car or I don't know I'm not really sure what it would mean so I and don't end, I don't end up using it <laughs> but I pulled out anything that I thought would be the right color um, the loving this the the gold was a little bit more flashy than the gold that's on the palm tree and I end up just really liking how the little flower works. So that's what I end up using. I do end up using that three by four card that says you and me and um, I am going to fussy cut out that circle with the florals. I'm not going to keep it as a three by four card and so I like how it ends up looking. I did toy with putting those gold sunglasses up in that upper right hand corner but uh, they don't make the cut the it's I'd stick with that flower um, which I think is okay because there are these flowers that are on this three by four card that three by four card is from fifth and Monaco and I love that collection I still have quite a bit of it in my kit to work with these Hawaii photos and um, I kind of paired that with a little bit of Heidi Swap uh, art walk and so I think um, I think that's a lot of fun and I, so like I said, those flowers that are sticking out underneath that card kind of give a nod to the flower that's in the upper right hand corner, at least in my mind. <clears throat> and this is kind of a different, a little bit different of a layout for me. Um, typically I have some kind of, uh, I don't know, I, <laughs> I have some kind of like shelf or something that the photo is sitting on but in this case I'm just going straight diagonal across that page and so it works and I like it and I am adhering all of this down to the acetate sheet so I'm kind of being cautious before sticking it down because um, this adhesive really sticks well to the acetate and so I don't want to have to keep pulling things up and moving them around because it will leave a little bit of the adhesive residue behind if you're not really careful. So there's the um, extra piece of that palm tree and that was on the bottom left. And like I said, I'm bringing it up to the upper right. I am also cutting off the bottom of the palm tree area because it had this, it almost looked like it was like a little, the top of an island or something. And I didn't really need that. I am fussy cutting out this camera and I am tucking that in. I am using this camera, this camera paper from P13 throughout my um, album in varying areas. And so I thought it would be cute just tucked in to the trunks of those palm trees. And then I have this epoxy flare from Scrap and Happy Studio. And they are very neutral in color, um, being a coconut and a conch. And so I decided to go ahead and use those. And I like the way that those are looking. And um, I did pull out these small word stickers. One says on the road. And then uh, the other one talks about adventure, I believe. And so I am going to pop those up onto some foam tape. I, and um, I, I really like how it, it ends up looking. And now if you have any questions about how I did any of the mixed media or anything, feel free to drop me a note down below. Or if you have questions about anything, you can leave me a note in the comments and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have. I don't respond 
um, every day to all of the comments. So you might have to wait a couple of days, um, especially during the month that I'm like doing a layout every single day. Um, sometimes I don't end up making it all the way through the list of comments, but uh, I do eventually. So I don't, I don't get to them every single day, but eventually I will. So hang in there. Um, if you have any questions about the series, you can leave those down below as well. So I am trying to play along every single day with Crystal Barrett over at Pineapple Papers. Um, Moira O'Reilly is also playing along daily. I think there are a few other people that are trying to play along daily. There is a list in my description box of the people playing daily and then other people who are playing certain days of the week. So you can check out all of those channels and um, get tons of inspiration. So I, I try to mix up my pins and not just do um, scrapbooking related pins. Now you may be asking what what the heck I'm talking about if you're not familiar with the series. So off the board, we use our Pinterest pins as inspiration. So like I said, I try to use things that are not always scrapbooking related to gain my inspiration. So it sometimes means that my layouts might be a little bit different than what you would normally see. Or um, maybe I'm not even doing a layout that day. I might be doing a memory decks card or something to that effect. So I am adding some sequins from um, Spiegel Mom Scraps. And I am using my Crystal Katana for that. And I really love how that tool works. It's, it's just, I used to use a Marvy Jewel Picker and this works so much better. Um, so if you have the opportunity to use one of these, I would highly recommend it. I had thought I was going to use those iridescent pink um, sequins, but I ended up using black. And I like how it looks better because it's subtle, but it adds um, a little bit of sparkle to the layout. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video today. I thank you so much for watching. Um, I will be adding some journaling. I just don't have it on camera here. I'm going to add it right above that white sticker that says make every day an adventure and the title will be below the other um, little white sticker at the top. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.